Thunderbolt was initially developed by Intel and Apple. But lastly, full rights were eventually transferred to Intel. And now, anyone can implement it. The original prototype, codenamed Lightpeak, was actually an optical technology, which could have enabled very high transfer speeds and longer cables. But since copper can carry power along with data, and Intel saw better than expected results while testing with copper, they cancel out the light and switch to copper. All Thunderbolt cable that you see today have connectors on each end that look either like a display port or a USB Type-C port. Speaking of Type-C, go check out our video on USB Type-C and the USB and its types. To distinguish themselves from normal ports like USB-C and DisplayPort, they have a small lightning bolt on the connector. But the wires inside them are all made from copper. So what do these wires do? They carry a combination of PCI Express and DisplayPort on one serial signal as well as DC connection for power, all in one. This means that the Thunderbolt interface could be used to connect and power display, audio and storage devices as well as USB Firewire and Gigabit Ethernet via adapters. Wait, there is more. Even you can run up to 6 total devices by daisy chaining them together at a time off of a single Thunderbolt interface or connecting them to a hub. Thunderbolt did not take the market when it appeared for the first time. Compared to USB 3, it was much expensive, but it still continued to improve. In 2015, Thunderbolt 2 came back to the market with some big changes. The bandwidth was doubled to 20 gigabits per second bidirectional, enough for playing 4K video while transferring data to and from a high-speed storage device over just one cable, and the maximum transfer speed was raised up to 1500 megabits per second. On top of that, it maintained the same connector design, which means version 1 and version 2 were intercompatible. But we need more. By more, I mean higher speeds and greater capabilities. Here comes Thunderbolt 3. With much higher speed and greater capabilities, it comes with 50% less power consumption. It also doubled the bandwidth from 20 gigabits per second to 40 gigabits per second and added the support for HDMI 2.0. But wait, there is also more. It came with the support for PCI Gen 3 and a charging capabilities of device up to 100 watts. The only bad news it came with was it had a new connector design, which was USB Type-C. So adapters will be required for backward compatibility. and. It is still a very expensive technology. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, comment about it, share it and as for always subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.